力の差を教えてやる。Hey, what is going on, guys? This is your boy, the Death Smasher, and welcome back to another Bleach Brave Souls video. And today, we are back with another news video. And today, we got the entire mid month gotcha revealed by K Lab themselves. We had the leak, and I practically posted it on the、uh, community tab. So now, I'm finally gonna be talking about the banners itself, talking about the characters and what I think about them. So, personally, I think all these three characters are good, but I do feel like they shafted Aizen again because they gave him a terrible first strong attack. But, anyways, let me just go ahead and go over all banners. For starters, this is, this is a premium banner. That's what I'm gonna say. So, these three characters will be added into the premium pool, and you will be able to pull them. From BBS tickets, 5 star tickets, and 4 to 5 star tickets. You guys get the point. But what they've done this time around is that they made it in a step up format. And we also have individual banners for all three of the characters. So, for starters, let me just go ahead and go over the characters and then I'll go over the、uh, banners first of all. So, of course, we also have the info from Soldex, which I'll be switching soon after we see the actual stats and skills from here. So, it's gonna be a step ups, and step five of the multi summons will guarantee you a five star. So, no more. I spent over 2000 orbs, still didn't even get a five star BS. It's completely gone. But there, ha there are some other compromises. So, But first, let's take a look at the character. That being said, Ichigo and Kenpachi are melee while Aizen is、uh, ranged. So, let's just go ahead and begin and read everything. Ichigo is a melee strong attack character with a Soul Reaper Killer ability. He can unlock Frenzy and the new hit hidden enemies. So now you don't even need to use Zeta Ball if you decide to、um, get Ichigo and actually do pull him, which is really good. He already has it as a skill, so you can just give him Pill, Badge, and Tension Tie just fine without having to give him the Zeta Balls to kill the hidden enemies. And yeah, pretty much. His special move temporarily transforms him into his Bankai state, increasing his damage output for a short time. And he can unlock another new skill called Decreased Soul Reaper Damage Taken, which reduces the amount of damage he takes from Soul Reaper enemies by 20%. What the fuck? Is this gonna be a PvP viable thing? I don't know. He can also unlock Paralysis Immunity, making him very useful in quests where enemies have Paralysis. So, yeah! I'm not gonna lie, the whole Soul Reaper damage taken thing could have been replaced with Havoc, in my personal opinion. But it is what it is. Aizen,、uh, again, he's ranged strong attack character with Hollow Killer. Okay, his second strong attack is a barrier move. It only, it only has a barrier, it doesn't do anything else, it doesn't boost, it doesn't heal, that's just all it does. And he ha- which is, which is compl- combined with his Frenzy and Guard Break skill. So he also has Guard Break. Uh, blah blah blah. His special move sees him shed his fake appearance for a short time, adding a jo-、uh, excuse me, adding a glint of madness to his eyes and increasing his damage output for a short time. He can also become impervious to the effects of both freeze and poison by unlo unlocking his freeze immunity and poison immunity skills. So, yeah. That being said, he doesn't have the hit, hit hidden enemy skill on his、uh, skills. Kenpachi is a melee strong attack character. So, this is a, a, an actual second、uh, Kenpachi that is a, a frenzy character and not a flurry character. Which, I'm gonna be honest here, thank god, because we've been getting way too many Kenpachis that are an ad character. So, this is a nice change of pace. So, he's got Soul Reaper Killer. He can unlock Hit in an enemy skill as well. And he also has Frenzy and Poise, which is really nice. His special move、uh, basically, Kenpachi remove, removes his eye patch and releases his full spiritual pressure, increasing his damage output for a short time. Finally, he is also able to unlock a bo、uh, boost to his strong attack damage troll trait, increasing it to 25%. So it looks like he doesn't have recharge, but he will be able to、um, do more damage with his strong attacks. And yeah, blah blah blah. And of course, the same step ups from the individual banners of.、Uh, Can't fear on roll round, well, Thousand Year Blood Roll round 7 and the Can't fear on roll、uh, round 2 banner. And these are the stats Ichigo has 1094 stamina, really good. Attack at 630, not bad. Defense at 352, good. 
the focus at 356, good. SP of 790, also pretty good. Soul Reaper Killer, Recharge, he's got Bruiser, Berserker, 40%. Frenzy, Devastation at 60%. Sprinter, of course, a new skill. Paralysis Immunity and uh, Decreased Soul Reaper Damage taken by 20%, which is only going to apply to Soul Reapers. No Alonkars, nothing like that, which is okay, but I don't see him making big waves in PvP. Just because he also lacks poison, it's it's an SP character. They don't really work in PvP. But um, yeah, this is what he needs. And then we got Aizen, who has 1,088 stamina, 627 attack, 361 defense, focus at 354, and an SP of 794. Hollow Killer, strong attack recharge to minus 12%. He's got Bruiser 40%, Berserker 40%, Frenzy, Devastation 60%, Sprinter, Guard Break. Freeze immunity and, and poison immunity, and this is what Aizen needs, unless you have skill keys like me. A thousand Now, Kenpachi, 1,100 stamina, attack at 633, defense at 354, focus at 348, and an SP of 788. He's got Soul Reaper Killer, strong attack damage, 25%, Bruiser and Berserker at 40%, Frenzy, Devastation, 60%, Sprinter, Poise, and hit, hit, Hidden Enemy, Chance, 100%. So yeah, and this is the filler pool of the uh, main double chance banner, which, not gonna lie, most of the characters are kinda not that great, like, Ginjo, I know a lot of people hate Ginjo, I think he's okay, but I think he's been in way too many goddamn banners, like, he should go, Tensei should go, Yukio should go, uh, Sajin, I also think he should, he should go, cause he's been in way too many banners. Ikaku is also getting on that level, where he's been, he's been on way too many banners, so, I don't know. Shunsui okay, Jushiro good, uh, Chad good, and Uryu is also pretty good. Considering I don't see Uryu in a, la in a lot of banners. But, um, yeah, these are the characters. Overall, I think that all three of the characters are pretty good. Okay, so one more thing I forgot to uh, point out in my original recording is that the double chance banners, even though they made them step ups, because they uh, increased the filler pool to having nine characters, instead of the standard six character filler pool. Of course, the rates have dropped from being 0.667% uh, per character to being 0.5%. So it's basically gonna be a 1.5% chance to even get uh, Ichigo, Aizen, or Kenpachi, which is pretty bad. That being said, I'll at least give K-Lab credit for the pity system because at the end of the day, once you get to step 5, you'll at least get a 5-star character. But honestly, if they want to include uh, more characters, just up the rates, man. It just it just makes no sense. Like, seriously. They should have just upped the rates. But that being said, um, they're premium characters, so I'm easily going to be skipping them. And, of course, we also have the individual banners, which are 5%, so no 3%. It's Ichigo's banner is going to feature Kai and Renji, uh, Tag Team Omaeda, and Tag Team Tosha. By the way, fuck, oh, fuck Kayla for putting in Kai and, and Tag Team Omida. Like, <laughs> these are like the worst the characters of the banner. And then each, and then um, uh, uh, can uh, Aizen's banner has um, 20 DR Orihime, which she's been appearing a lot as of recently. Bond Ichigo, which is still pretty good. Uh, Jackie and Tag Team Ikaku. Ikaku Tag Team Ikaku has been also on way too many banners as of recently. Jackie, y'all. He's starting to get there, even though I don't have fucking Jackie, which is really freaking weird. And then Kenpachi will have uh, Yumi Chika, which he too has been popping up on way too many banners. Uh, the past Kisuke, Nell, and uh, third uh, Fusion Aizen. So yeah, these are the individual banners. Personally, I'd say to skip, because these characters will be back in ladder uh, banners in the future. It is going to take a while, but... I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, it's not worth pulling for these characters. That being said, now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the um, actual attacks, because we do have the um, attack information from Soldex. It's on it's on the uh, website for the BBS simulator, so shout out to Soldex for having that up. And uh, let's just go ahead and, and take a look at their attack info. So first of all, we've got Ichigo, we don't need to go over the stats. So uh, of course, he's melee, he's got transformation mechanic, and my, notice how all three of these characters don't have any sort of debilitating status ailment, which is really weird. Not gonna lie. Really weird. So, of course, he doesn't have long reach, so the radius is basically the same as Noitor's, where it's 375 on the NAD. 
Uh, his uh, first round attack is 475 radius. Pretty sure this is a lunge. 725 um, radius projectile. I think this is like a beam move similar to uh, Ichibei's uh, second strong attack. Actually, actually, as a matter of fact, let's pull up Ichibei real quick. I think that's the same second strong attack he has. Like, hold on. That's an order. Yeah, okay. It's the same uh, attack as uh, Ichibei. And then it's a 975 AoE distant attack, which is which is pretty much the same as Zombie Toshiro's. So we can expect that to at least be very good once we actually get to see the gameplay. So Ichigo already looks busted as hell. And then, of course, once he transforms, he his mags change from 120% to 150% for up to 30 seconds, which is really nice. So you'll be able to do extra damage. And now Aizen, uh, yeah, here, we ha here we have him. He's ranged, of course. Um, he's he also has barriers. And has a transformation mechanic. His Nat has range, uh, is a range projectile Nat. Similar, it's basically the same as Can't Fear on Robotic Arms. And would you look at that? They shafted him. Look at that first strong attack. It's a fucking projectile based uh, attack with 40% mag and his range closure. Basically, this is the same fucking attack that is be that's actually used on Kiona and Santato and Christmas Nanao. Yeah, they made his first. Pretty fucking terrible. Like why? Come on. I swear. I I don't I don't get it, man. I just fucking don't. <sighs> and while well, the transformation mechanic doesn't even help him, it only goes up to 50%. Really, bro? Really? And that's the strong attack he used the most. Like what the fuck, man? And then his second strong attack, 120%. And it's barrier. Of course, it has melee collision. And the, at least his third strength. His third strong attack is a thousand radius full screen, so at least I'll give props to Caleb for actually making that good, but they they shafted Aizen. I'm sorry, they, they shafted him already, right off the bat after seeing uh, the attack info. And now Kenpachi, which in my opinion, I believe he is actually the best of the banner. We'll just have to wait and see, but of course, he too does not have any debilitating status ailments. Thir 375 radius against... Same, same Nad string as Cantheon World No long reach. Uh, 475 radius. Again, it's also going to be a lunge, melee collision. 725 projectile attack, melee collision, Ichi base second strong attack again. And then a thousand radius uh, strong attack. So, Kenpachi easily is looking to be the best of the banner. And of course, uh, he does have a transformation which lasts up until 30 seconds. So, yeah. I will say this. Kenpachi <laughs> is actually better than uh, Manga Mayuri from what we see here because he's gonna be by far the hardest hitting Soul Reaper killer for heart because he he has Frenzy, Berserker at 40% and a strong attack damage link of 25%. Now he will lack long reach, I mean not long reach, he will have lack recharge so his strong attacks do take a while to come back but he has a really good kit and a really nice set of skills, making him easily, by far, one of the best Heart Soul Reaper killers in the game. And I'd say he's actually better than, um, Chubanka Ichiko, believe it or not. But, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. We'll, we'll, we will see the gameplay on the, uh, 15th, which is before the banner drops. So yeah, that's basically the entire attack pattern and what we know from the data mines of soul decks so um yeah if you guys want my personal advice just don't summon on the banner that that's all because these guys will come back so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in uh my next video i will be dropping a showcase on little girl yachiru soon considering i have not done a showcase of her believe it or not so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace out guys.